the failed success story about Hangover at Lisebay. The year was 1994 and Lisebay decided during an amusement park event in USA to buy a new roller coaster to the park. And in the autumn of 1995, the former ride Lisebay's Lupin was taken down to be replaced by something new and exciting. This new and exciting ride was nothing less than Hangover, an uh, inverted boomerang by the manufacturer Vicoma. Hangover was at the time a world unique coaster that was set to premiere in the summer season of 1996. Hangover manufactured by Vicoma was the first inverted boomerang ever built. Inverted meant that the trains and seats is hanging under the rail instead of above. The coaster was supposed to use LIMs or LSMs to climb the two lift hills. Hangover was a great sight in the park and for me personally I was too short to ride it the first season but only the look of this coaster was thrilling. Hangover was 42 meters tall, 309 meters long and had a maximum speed of 90 km per hour. The ride starts with a chain lift hill. You are either seated backwards or forwards in the trains. Don't worry though, no matter where you start your ride you will go forwards and backwards. After the first lift hill you will be dropped back through the station at immense speed and then ascend into the first inversion which is a very powerful cobra roll. Exiting the cobra roll you almost instantly pull up into a loop and then up the second and last lift hill. The train will be pulled upwards and then you drop and do the whole track backwards before again hitting the first lift hill to slowly send you back into the station. In the spring of 1996, Hangover was set to open. Due to continuing problems with the LSMs, this never happened. An intense work to get the attraction to open during the summer of 1996 began. Vicoma even had people staying on site in caravans that worked on the problem around the clock. During a test run in early August, an incident occurred and a 150 kilo heavy test dummy fell from the ride and landed in some flowers nearby. Luckily, no one was hurt from this incident. Vicoma failed and after this incident, they got, gave up on trying to fix the ride. Shortly thereafter, it was made public that Lisebay's new monster attraction Hangover wasn't going to open at all during 1996. As a compensation from Vicoma, Liseberg got a For Europe unique attraction named Uppskjutet, an SNS double shot tower. This ride opened 17 of June 1996. Uppskjutet was for real put in a jumbo jet and flown to Gothenburg after some pressure from Liseberg. During the winter, 1996 to 1997. The drive system of the roller coaster was completely rebuilt, and instead of LSMs, the ride now featured two traditional chain lifts. The opening. During a press release in 1997, Hangover finally opened to big fanfare. The Swedish newspaper Expressen and gave the ride six getingar or bees in English. The scale only goes to 5, so that is a very impressive review. Another fun thing was that a local comedian, Lasse Brandeby, or his character Kurt Olsson, attended and explained to the press how the attraction works and why it was closed in 1996. As you can tell by this picture, he is very accurate and would probably be employed by Werner Stengel if Kurt was still alive today. Another first for Liseberg was the ride photo. For the first time, Lisebay had a camera taking pictures of the riders, which you later could buy with a nice frame. 
One could say that when Hangover finally opened, it was a long-awaited success for Lizzie Barry. Sadly, I was still not tall enough to be allowed on the ride, but I still remember looking at this amazingly looking ride roar through the park. The success wasn't long though, and Lisa Bay and Vekoma was not given a break. The problems started almost right away. A lot of safety stops occurred during the early season and the 8th of May the ride stopped at its very high position. Emergency personnel was called to the park and soon realized that their car with their tallest ladder on the fire track wasn't tall enough. The firefighters then had to rent a truck or a skylift from a company to get all the passengers down safely to the ground. The year after this, the fire station bought a new truck with a taller ladder and Lisebay actually sponsored this with 700,000 crowns, roughly 70,000 euros, and called it an investment for the future. This very incident got huge in the media, and I remember friends talking about people getting stuck upside down, which of course was not the case. Hangover continued to be a headache for Lisebay, even though the coaster ran better and better. In 1998, Hangover hit its passenger high, but in 2002, the screams came to a halt. Hangover did its last runs in 2002 and was later in the year dismantled and sold. The replacement of Hangover was the wooden coaster Balder, but in my opinion, the real replacement happened a couple of years later with Kanonen, but that roller coaster is for a later video. By the way, in 1998 I was finally tall enough to get my first ride in Hangover and it will become many more rides before the removal. The long and winding road of Hangover after Lisebay. Hangover was sold and shipped to Greece with the idea of being located at Allo Fun Park to entertain visitors during the Olympics in Athens in 2004. This never happened. Hangover was laying in pieces on a parking lot in the harbor of Piraeus. After a couple of years, Hangover was sold again, but now to Denmark and Summerland Syd in Tingslev. This time, Hangover was built in the park and changed its name to Tornado. Hangover was operating as Tornado from 2005 to 2011. That year, Summerland Syd went bankrupt. Hangover, or Tornado, was sold for a third time and would now become French. Oui, baguette, croissant. It was refurbished, modernized and given a new paint job. On June 30, 2012, Hangover, or Tornado, would now open as Triops in Parc Bagatelle in Merlimont in northwest France. I'm so sorry for my pronunciation, but as you can hear, I am trying. Our old friend Hangover is still operating to this day and according to credible sources, the coaster is running perfect. Hangover, or Tornado, or Triops, is one of Bagatelle's most loved attractions and looks to stay that way for quite some time. If you miss Lisebay's old Vicoma in Vertigo, I can really recommend a visit to Bagatelle in France for a ride in Triops. If there's anyone out there who may have videos of Hangover at Lisebay, we would love to take part of them, since they are very rare. Contact me in a comment on this video or by sending me an email, which you can find here on the channel. I really hope that you liked this video and that in the future you want me to do more failed success stories of roller coasters. Please leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. Until the next time, have a good one. Credits to coasterblog.se on Instagram for the pictures you have seen in this video and also for input and help on this particular ride. Link to his Instagram account is found in the description, so please check that out and follow him for some amazing coaster pics. Also a big thank you to Coaster Crazy here on YouTube for the on-ride footage of Triops at Bagatelle.